Hey guys, what's up? Bargain Bin Hobo here. You're watching JLove81. Let's start the proceedings off right with the JLove slap. With the JLove slap. You guys enjoy. Get back here, Shrek. We're not done yet. It's your girl, JLove81. What's going on, guys? Today, I will be doing response video to my boy Richard W. Check out his channel in the link in the description below. He had done a video about five games that he could play for the rest of his life. So, I thought it was an awesome video to do a response to, and I will be telling you guys my five games that I could play the rest of my life. Let's get started. So guys, this is really, really hard. It took me weeks to think about this because having to only pick five, I, I, of course I couldn't. I'm going to have one honorable mention, but there are so many games that I could play the rest of my life. This was really, really tough, but I had to bring it back to my childhood. What games mean the most to me that I could play over and over again? You have to remember to today's games, it's a lot harder to play over and over again because they're so big you know they're so massive where the old school games are a little bit shorter so it's a lot easier but I will start off with my number one game that I could play the rest of my life and that game is the original Legend of Zelda this by far is my favorite Zelda game of all time it always will be the very first game I played the very first Zelda game 1987 that I played my favorite, the overhead perspective Zelda games are my absolute favorite. I'm just old school like that, but you have the hidden dungeons. It is just so much fun, open world exploring. This game just brings it back to my childhood. Um, you're pretty much trying to get the pieces of the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda broke into pieces because Ganon stole the Triforce of Power. And he also kidnapped Zelda once she has done that and hid them in different uh, dungeons. So just you have to get that back. You got to get Zelda back. It is so much fun. I love this game. So I can play this over and over and never get bored with it. My second favorite game that I could play the rest of my life is Super Mario Bros. 2. Now, yes, I understand this is not the real Mario 2, at least for you guys that may think that. For us in North America, it was. I get that it's Doki Doki Panic with some uh, character uh, swaps, but this still is my all-time favorite because of the nostalgia. I remember opening this Christmas morning and I was so excited. I kept looking at this box and I was just looking forward to playing this game. It looks so different. And thanks, by the way, for the box, Mega Dan. I appreciate the awesome game. I remember just seeing how different it looked. It was cartoonish. It looked great back in the day when it came out in 1987. It was amazing. You can pick up the enemies. You can toss it, toss. You could pick up the, the plants, toss it. You, you know, uh, dig the digging stage. I mean, there's so many different reasons why I liked it. It was so different and I still have a good time and can play this over and over again. So definitely Mario 2. My third favorite game that I could play, and you're gonna see a pattern here, is Super Mario World. On the Super NES, it came out in 1991, so it was the first game I played when I got the SNES back in the day for Christmas. I was so stoked, I wanted a Super Nintendo so bad. I saw it on Nintendo Power magazines and just different advertisements. When I got this game, it blew me away. Back then, the graphics were very impressive. 16-bit Mario, that's so impressive. It looked great. It was the first time Yoshi was introduced in the series. So you get to be on Yoshi and eat enemies. And I thought it was so cool. I mean, he had the cape, so he looked like a superhero. I, everything, everything about the game. When at the end of the game, he would do the peace sign. It was just so cheesy, but I loved it. It was fantastic. So definitely one of my favorite Mario games of all times. My fourth favorite game of all time that I can play for the rest of my life is Donkey Kong Country on the Super Nintendo. This game, when it first came out, the graphics were incredible. It looked beautiful. The soundtrack was amazing. The soundtrack is off the hook. The start of the Donkey Kong Country series, 
Just phenomenal, phenomenal game. I remember playing it over and over. The game came out back in 1994 and they had a tournament at Blockbuster that you could go to your local Blockbuster and play and get the most points. And I remember going to that tournament and of course I was beat, but it was incredible. There were secrets that I had no idea and I played this game over and over again. You're still finding secrets, secret bananas, secret balloons, just different, you know, caves. Just an amazing game. I definitely highly recommend this one if you haven't played it, but if you have a Super Nintendo, how could you not? You know, you got Diddy Kong on your side and you could just swap if you want to be Diddy Kong. I always picked uh, Donkey Kong because he was stronger and he can uh, defeat the bigger enemies, but this is fantastic. Definitely can play this over and over again and it brings me back to my childhood. It was back when I lived in New York City. I moved to Pennsylvania in 1995, so this brings it back. It was the one of the last games I played before making the big move. All right, guys, my fifth game that I could play the rest of my life is going to be Ratchet and Clank. Now this is the original Ratchet and Clank, which is by far my favorite in the entire series. It moved on to going commando, up your arsenal, tools of destruction. So this game came out in 2002. It's a third person perspective platform game. I don't know if you guys noticed, but most of the games, all the games I pick are platform games. They're my favorite type of game ever. And this game blew me away. They came out with a remake on the PS4, which is awesome, but nothing compares to the original. You start off with a wrench, you collect bolts, which helps you upgrade your weapon and your armor. You get like the suck cannon, the blaster, which is my favorite, the bomb glove, and so many other things that you could upgrade as your weapons. Clank actually can be your jetpack that you need and just so many awesome, awesome things. He is a little robot that you meet and together you want to save other planets that of course the bad guy wants to destroy and collect the pieces to create his very own planet. It's just a long story. If you follow the series, you know what I'm talking about. And if you've never played the series and you have PlayStation, what are you guys waiting for? This is amazing. They have PlayStation 2 debuted this. I love this game. And then of course, they came out with some for the PlayStation 3. And this is the only one we got on PS4. I'm very disappointed. I, I was hoping they'd make more because these games are freaking awesome. So check them out. Definitely can play this one over and over again. All right, guys. So those are my top five games that I could play the rest of my life. I want to thank Richard W. His channel is going to be in the link in the description below. Thank you for doing this video and giving us this idea. I really enjoyed it. It made you think. It was just really, really tough to decide on the games, but I had a good time with it. So guys, I just want to thank each and every one of you. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I, you know, some of the things I've seen, uh, words of wisdom, try to be a better person than you were yesterday. I know how hard it is to feed into negativity. I understand that, especially when people gossip about you people you know you have trolls out there and you have them in real life too but i get it a lot of them are behind the keyboard behind closed doors and it's very cowardly to be that type of person that you want to gossip and troll people and you know do it behind a keyboard but all i could tell you guys is don't feed into it ignore it i know it's hard but it takes more courage to walk away than it does to confront the individuals. Just don't let them get to you. That's what they want. They want to get a rise out of you guys. You guys are better than that. Don't feed into it. Like I said, it takes more courage to just walk away. It really does. I always want to try to stay positive. That's what my channel's about, promoting positivity. This is the retro game community, guys. We're supposed to be in this for fun. You know what I mean? And just meeting each other and having a good time is the benefit of uh, having a YouTube channel, meeting people with the same kind of um, hobby that you enjoy, you know, similarities that we could discuss. And everybody is entitled to their own opinions. Not everybody agrees or disagrees. You know what I mean? Not everybody agrees on the same things, but all in all, that's what I love about this community. I hate to see people fight and it's just really really stupid in my opinion i'm sorry it is to 
fight over opinions, you know what I mean? Or you want to gossip about other people. Don't, don't. If you want, promote other people. That's what you do instead of bashing others. You know what I mean? More love and less hate. Let's get it, guys. Let's start with that. So like I said, be a better person than you were yesterday. It's never too late. But I'm going to leave you guys off with that. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you guys later. Much love.